All right, hi everybody. So in this video here, we're going to take a look at solving an absolute value equation. And this one is a little bit more complicated than some of the ones we've done previously. Now for a couple of reasons. First of all, notice that the independent variable shows up inside and, and outside the absolute values, the x, the variable that we're looking for. Um, and notice that we've also got a quadratic here. Okay. So here we go. Now remember the way the absolute value things here work. Uh, normally what I want to do is I want to isolate the absolute value, which has already happened here. And then remember how this works here. If I've got the absolute value of two, the answer is two. If I've got the absolute value of negative two, the answer is two. So whether what's inside is positive or negative, the answer is going to be equal to the positive value here. So in this particular case here, it could be the case that x squared minus 2x plus 2 is equal to positive 3x minus 4. Whoops, 3x minus 4. Or x squared minus 2x plus 2 is equal to the negative of that value. Now, at this point here, uh, I'm not 100% sure that 3x minus 4, like on the on the left-hand side here, is actually going to be this positive thing I'm looking for, just like I don't know on the right-hand side if that's actually going to be the negative thing. Like I don't know if I've actually done that right, because the value of the variable can change things. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to solve it the way I would normally. So I'm just going to bring over that 3x, bring over that 4. So I'm going to get x squared minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. And the nice thing is about this is that's fairly nicely factored. Okay, it's going to be negative x minus 2, x minus 3. And so now I've got, I've got two linear terms multiplied together here, or two linear factors, I should say, either one of which could be equivalent to zero here, causing the whole thing to be zero. So that will happen if x is equal to positive 2, or if x is equal to positive 3. So I get two solutions from that, that first, uh, that first it kind of attempt at this problem here where I, where I take it and set it equal to the positive of the, the right-hand side. Now I'm going to look at the other side. Whoops. So I'm going to distribute that negative through first. And I'm going to bring it over. So I'm going to get x squared, and that's going to become positive x. And then minus 2 is equal to 0. And now I'm really hoping that this factors nicely, and I believe it does. x plus 2, x minus 1. Just like the other side here, I've got these two linear factors. And if either of one goes to zero, the whole thing goes to zero. So that means x could either be negative two or one. So now what we want to do here, though, is we want to check. And we've got a little bit more to check here. So here we go. It's the absolute value of two squared minus two times two plus two. Does that equal three times two minus four? Let's do this pretty quickly here. So this is going to be 4 minus 4, so it ends up being the absolute value of 2 is equal to 6 minus 4, which is just 2. So the absolute value of equals, yes, that works. So 2 works. Now let's try 3 squared minus 2 times 3 plus 2 is equal to 3 times 3 minus 4. So what have I got there? I've got 9 minus 6, which is 3, plus 2 is 5. So it's the absolute value of 5. This is going to be 9 minus 4. And does the absolute value of 5 equal 5? Yes. So that works. Good. Now let's check uh, what's going on on the other side here. Now remember, I am checking this back into the original equation, though. So this will be negative 2 squared minus 2 times negative 2 plus 2 equals 3 times negative 2 minus 4. Now, all of a sudden, without doing any other work, I know that the answer is no solution. And the reason I know that is because 3 times negative 2 is going to be negative 6 minus 4 is going to be negative um, 10. And as soon as that a right-hand side there becomes a negative, I know that that's not the result of an absolute value. So that, that doesn't work. Let's try 1, though. 1 squared minus 2 times 1 plus 2. Does that equal 3 times 1 minus 4? Okay, well, 1 squared is 1, so 1 minus 2 is negative 1 plus 2 is going to be 1. So it's the absolute value of 1. 3 minus 4, oops, well, 3 minus 4 is negative 1. And no, that that is not true. Once again, we are getting uh, a result that says that the absolute value is producing a negative result. So that doesn't work. So the only two solutions that we are getting here, we can come down here 